Hey good people, welcome back to the channel. Good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I promised you I was gonna do Lacoste Loam Intense. I would, I might still do it at night. I am on a roll, you know. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like very inspired because I guess the holiday started. I kinda finished all the work. I was in so much rush last one week or so. Uh, trying to finish up all my work, running around in the jam. Uh, very hectic time. Now I'm very relaxed, taking my time, resting, sleeping. So when I wake up, feel like doing videos for you. And I really believe it's not about like, you know, I don't matter. What matters is if I can give you more fragrance reviews and I can give you some content so you can actually see more fragrances, uh, more outtakes, a little bit more different angles, right? So today uh, I might still do the Lacoste fragrance if I'm still okay and free, but I changed my mind on doing a sample review. I was like, I want to do this one. I, you know, I just, this is like random, you know, I do not pick my fragrances to review they pick me right so i let my mind choose like randomly what i feel like doing so yeah uh, today's fragrance gonna be courtesy and it's a gift i received six samples from very generous samples from my dear brothers in the community from bangladesh uh, shubho bhai he and papa pantho bhai pantho bhai so these two brothers are friends and they own a fragrance uh, online store in bangladesh called fragrance bd fragrance bangladesh and they are my dear brothers because uh, we are good friends and we never really met, but we talk a lot. Uh, out of the two, <laughs> I have to mention uh, Tanzir Shubhavai, he lives in USA and he's very, very, very smart guy. He actually lives with his family there and he does reviews, he does Instagram, beautiful pictures. I'm mentioning this because these guys are talented and they are really kind. They have been kind to me. I have been talking to them, discuss a lot of things when I was going through trouble. And Pantova is a very good friend of mine. I talk a lot over phone. So they sent me, they were generous. I was like, didn't expect it. I received six samples out of those, or five were niche, I think. Uh, those fragrances gonna really enrich my uh, channel. So I'm, thank you so much. I, I don't wanna say just thanks is never gonna be enough. But one of the fragrances that you guys sent me, let me do a review, I had an initial impression, cause I was very interested in this one. I couldn't find it anywhere in Bangladesh. After two minutes of intro, fragrance we're reviewing is 24 Ice Gold by Sense Story. So this is a sample, a beautiful bottle there. I do, I think this is coming 1500 ml. In Bangladesh, they're not really readily available. This is a release of 2016. And I'll let you know what I think about it because I saw a few reviews on it. But the first time I tried it, I tried it already three times now. So it's been a few days. So thanks uh, Fragrance BD for sort of sponsoring our, our uh, <laughs> making this video happen. I, otherwise, I, would, I don't know when I was going to review. So that bottle looks really lovely. And this is a flanker, I mean rather from this line of 24 gold, which I bought on the base of Jeremy's su suggestion. As someone commented, you know, why I keep mentioning Jeremy? These people are like obsessed or something. You know, I'm not obsessed. You guys are obsessed, you know. When I'm mentioning something, do you see me just bashing him or something? The fragrance that I re reviewed, uh, La Nuit de Lom, I actually gave him credit because that's where I found the hype from. That's where I found I, I'm tr not trying to be hating or anything. I'm just trying to mention something that is related to fragrance channel or something. I'm just saying randomly because I read comments and I just people like random comments, you know, people as if they know me. Um, I was actually giving him credit for introducing Lanio Delum in my life. I had to have it because of his recommendation. So I gave some good comments on him. So I don't know. I'm not allowed to talk about anybody. Oh, people are really tough these days. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway, uh, let's not discuss that further. So 24 Gold Sense to another fragrance that I saw in Jeremy's channel. Uh, and he recommended this as one of his top 10 uh, recommendation. It's like he said this is really inexpensive back then. And it performs it as a raspberry and it's kind of very sweet, oud, uh, amber, a lot of the sweet notes and it's beast mode. This fragrance is not ideal to wear in hot weather, right? So this has a lot of flankers like new flankers. They have oud flanker. I never tried those. But this fragrance, I bought it from one of my brothers in Bangladesh. Never wear it. <laughs> I never wear it because this is so strong. You know, I have a similar fragrance. <clears throat> that is also I bought, which I love. I mean, this is Swiss Arabian Shagabud. Yeah, this fragrance, if you want a performer, you just need a half spray under your three shirts. Even then it's going to project like nuclear. So these fragrances are heavy fragrances. But this one is the flanker. As you can see the blue with the golden cap, if the bottle looks just like this, just gonna be transparent and juice gonna be inside, gonna be light blue, like Dolce & Gabbana light blue Purum. So that's how these bottles come. And the fragrance, I think it's about 75 to $85 for a big bottle and 65 for a small bottle. So that's basically it. That's, I guess, because I do not own a full bottle. The cap looks like that. It's not fit. 
spare will look like this. It, it's, a, it's a niche house. And I think the 24 comes from the TV series uh, 24. Back in the time we used to watch. I was not a very big fan. So anyway, coming to the review. Talk a lot these days. Uh, <laughs> 24 gold, eyes gold. And uh, new, what? New fragrance, okay. And they give sort of this nice sort of watery look. But I guess the bottle is just frosted. There's no watery pattern on the bottle. It will say 24 and the cap in golden. So that's basically it. So it's made in France and it's a 3ml uh, sample. Okay. So let's talk about it. So this fragrance, let's actually hold it. This fragrance I have on my hand and it's going to be an initial impression because people ask me for my recommendation. Should they buy this or blind buy this or try this? And this fragrance, is it long lasting? So first of all, this fragrance is very familiar to me. I was expecting everything and I got everything that I was imagining in my head. This is very similar to a couple of fragrances that I have, I'm going to show you. But talking about performance, I tried three times. This fragrance for a fresh fragrance, it does last a very long time. The fragrance I'm about to show you next, they do not last uh, as much as this one does. This one on my skin on summer days, it pushed about five hours and a half in the high heat. The rest of them, I would say half the time in longevity. So the fragrance I was talking about, it's they're all done by Olivier Cresp. This one is not mentioned who did this because the niche house, perhaps, I don't know. But Black Excess by Paco Rabanne. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Maybe this one as well, I forgot, but Mont Blanc Star Walker. And I'm going to go closer and closer to the original one. And they are more similar to this. Versace Manu Fresh, absolute favorite. It's a beast in summer. And finally, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for women. This one, intense, both version. If you happen to love this one, you know this has the bamboo note, citrus, lemon, and it's very light sort of florals. Amazing wearing for summer, and men can wear it too. It's better than the Dolce & Gabbana original light blue Puram, in my opinion. I wore this a lot, and I gave it to my mom. She's wearing whatever 30, 40 ml was remaining in it. So yeah, if you love those, Olivia Crisp, I think, also was involved in this one because they smell very close. I have in my hand, this is uh, based on, I think, citrus, like bergamot, uh, jasmine, and uh, woody notes, I think, let me check, double check, yeah, three notes, this fragrance is based on, and uh, for a concentration for EDT, lasts a very long time, I would say longevity for a fresh fragrance like this, it gets solid 9 out of 10, okay, it's not going to last 9 hours, but for a fresh fragrance like this, that's a good longevity, projection for one and a half hour, solid projection, after that, it's a good skin scent, it's prominent, you can detect it you know when you move around on your neck you can detect it easily so for three and a half hours i would say uh you can detect it prominent after that it will be sort of like skin scent and then it will die down slowly after six hours mark okay so five and a half hours of i can assure you you can get good performance out of it very solid release but the smell here is the thing i do not find this original because this is very 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 close to excuse me I am extremely sorry, that was rude of me, the call came through. Uh, I usually put my phone on silent when I'm doing reviews and this one, this phone, I put it on uh, the flight mode. So I'm really sorry, I had to pause it. So I was saying this fragrance, I don't know where I was, I totally lost it. <laughs> I was just talking to two person, one, both of my friends. So this fragrance, I find it strikingly similar. I, I'm going to start from there. Two light, light blue, uh, poor femme. This fragrance, if you do not know, Olivier Cresp also created this and he did collaboration and then he did... Versace Menu Fresh also got similarity, but this is for men. And the other one, this is built for women. So even Paco Rabanne Black Excess, this one, and Mont Blanc Star Walker, you're gonna find similar notes because they have like shared citrus, bamboo, here and there, woody notes, uh, carambola or lemon, they all have that. So when you smell it, you're gonna be reminded of Dolce Gama like Blue Pour Femme, which is not a bad thing. This fragrance, some people have spotty longevity, some people have excellent skin, they get like six, seven hours push and light projection so if you like this one on your self on summer's day this is something i would highly recommend because it's a performer version upgraded version of those fragrances but i'm not gonna be able to say i like it more than versace menu fresh perhaps i like them equally but versace menu fresh something about the carambola lemon is just so sexy it mixes with your sweat it stays like a nice second skin i love that in summers okay this has less sweetness more citrusy and woody notes this one right here it's a little bit sweet. It's gonna get like uh, mild florals as uh, the jasmine comes through and becomes kind of softening it, but it's not a soft fragrance, okay? It's not like Dolce Gama light blue, oh intense, not that sort of beast, 
but this one very good performer if you do not like loud fragrances you like something gentle subtle yet beautiful this has that woody backbone very simplistic not much transformation but i love it i love this fragrance it's beautiful it has the watery feel because just like the blue i don't think they mention it but i love this fragrance this one 24 go ice gold i may buy a full bottle of it because i'm a fan of already those fragrances and i like this bottle design once my uh, menu fresh runs out perhaps i'll get it and i already gave my this bottle to my mom so i may need a backup and this could replace it easily so i'll tell you one thing if you do not like fragrances that has florals in it do not buy this fragrance do not uh, give it a try or you can give it a try but do not blind buy this because florals do not work with everybody for me i love florals if you see my collection i have a lot of floral fragrances i use women's perfumes as well so i'm used to it i like jasmine i like all sort of women's perfumes as well because they smell darn nice but uh, this fragrance it can be unisex easily i think uh, they don't mention it for men or what i don't know but this is pretty unisex in my opinion and it's 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 equivalent to it dolce gama light blue poor femme there's an intense version right how intense that and this are very similar you can get this or that whichever you get a better price they're gonna basically do the same thing right and i do not detect any bamboo or anything just simply lemon and the florals maybe jasmine and some other white florals clean and it stays pretty uh, subtle and nice and gentlemanly perfect office and gym scent everyday scent for summers it's a beautiful summer fragrance you can wear it also in springs so thank you so much uh, uh, fragrance bd for giving me this beautiful sample and i may buy a full bottle of it because i love it so much over longevity i'll give it 8 out of 10 excellent longevity uh, versatility perhaps not good for winter but good for summer and springs um, the age or recommended people i would suggest anybody can wear this men women at any age no problem school kids can wear it no problem um, uh, is it gonna get you compliments that one factor uh, i think you will get compliments randomly here and there just like not left and right like if you were ultra male like attention seeking perfumes this is not that this is pretty much like and i'm here i'm wearing it and i know i smell nice that sort of vibe okay men and women will both love it i would give this fragrance a rating of 8 out of 10 uh, because because you might think i would give it 10 because i love it so much no uh, 8 because lack of originality this fragrance i would say main credit goes to light blue pour femme or versace menu fresh or the other two star walker and black excess these two because they came out earlier and they have the twist here and there but they actually smell the similar dna to this so 2016 what they created is more upgraded version so highly recommended by me if you if, if you take that out that factor this probably will get like a 9 out of 10 or something but in my world 8 out of 10 because of that lack of originality but performance is very good very nice smelling fragrance i recommend that for summer one okay so take care everybody thanks once again uh Pantubai and Shubhubai. Everybody have a blessed night and I'll see if I can do the Lacoste Loam Intense review. Bye-bye.